agents and welcome to my hard as nails trophy guide for the division 2 or achievement guide if you're on xbox or pc um, this trophy requires you to complete every one of the story missions on hard that's the 12 story missions and then the three strongholds it doesn't include tidal basin so you don't need to worry about that and uh, once you completed all 15 missions including the strongholds there on hard you'll get the trophy this is going to be very easy to do later on in the game. So if you are a division veteran, your hardcore division, this video, these video guides, sorry, are not for you. There's no point in you watching. You'll you'll get these done without even thinking. Um, however, this this kind of series of videos is for trophy hunters, the people who are just playing the game to get the platinum, and you want to know how to complete these missions on harder. I think this is going to be more difficult for you guys. So I thought I'd show you how I did it at level 30. So I didn't go past level 30. I didn't advance to world tier one. It does, as I just said, it gets easier as you advance as you advance into world tier one going up to world tier four and you get the better gear you get builds together it makes completing missions on hard uh, a doddle however at 30 um it is a bit more difficult and how i did it is i made a bit of a sniper build so i'm showing you the build on screen now at the start of every one of these videos you'll see this build and how it progressed a little bit i guess uh, but what you want to aim for is three air oldie pieces uh which give you accuracy headshot damage and marksman rifle damage you want to aim for at least one fenris piece to give you the assault rifle damage providing you're using an assault rifle if you're using an smg or a rifle then there's other pieces for that so use the piece that corresponds and then you i use the badger piece to get the damage to elites i think that's vital uh for, for the last piece you could either go for another badger piece to get armor percent on kill or you could go for another fenris piece to get protection from elites or any piece you want like whatever stat you suit your play style but this suited mine now in each one of these videos i'm going to show you the location uh like where i put myself to make it easy you'll see where areas are quite difficult where you might want to alter what i do i do get myself into sticky situations it's all about hanging back and sniping when you can and only advancing when it's safe to do so there's not actually many hard missions playing this way i will call out the missions that are hard as we go through the guide um but relatively they're all very easy solo there's a couple of missions where i will advise as well that you play with a partner just to make it a bit more easier i do actually do all the free strongholds with a partner uh they could very well be done solo as well i think roosevelt's the most difficult one to do solo uh but yeah there's two or three missions where i will advise a partner to do that be sure to check the link for uh, sorry, the description for a link to a community if you do need other agents to play with. Got a lot of people in there that are willing to help, so do check us out and come and join us. Um, that's it for the introduction. You'll now see me complete Lincoln Memorial. Uh, this is quite an easy mission. The only two places I died was right at the start and right at the end. Um, so at the start, just take your time. You'll see the position I get into now to make it a bit easier. And at the end, I just think it's better if you have two people. You're fighting like a flamethrower boss. And his flame at this point in the game is very strong. And it takes you out very, very quickly. A reviver hive is definitely recommended. So if you do go down, you've got a chance of getting back up. Uh, or playing with a group. If you bring in a second person or third person, I'll make this mission a lot easier it can be done solo though as you'll see in the video and remember guys this is at level 30 when it's a bit difficult if you do play the game and get well into it like world tier 5 start getting some builds together it makes this a lot lot easier thank you for watching this video i'll leave you to it now and peace out
interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter.
the memorial into a base. An area beneath you would increase security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel. Isaac pulled upstairs. We can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders loaded with DC-62. to keep them from getting more of those mortars.
Let's get a turn up. That gun. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. Stop them. I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated the stronghold near.